स्टूडेंट वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर 35 ऑलरेडी 34 लेक्चर आर डन टू सॉल्व दिस सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ द बुक वेक्टर एनालिसिस बाय एम आर स्पाइजल बुक ओके दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट बुक फॉर द बीएससी फिजिक्स एंड मैथमेटिक्स ऑनर्स एंड दिस इज आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आईटी एग्जाम प्रिपरेशन दैट्स व्हाई वी डिसाइड टू सॉल्व द सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस बुक In this video, you want to solve the supplementary problem 4.106 to 4.109 of chapter 4, which consists gradient divergence and curl. So go to the directly the question 4.106, which says that is there a differential vector v such that curl of v equal to r and curl of v equal to this? If so, find v. Okay. So for solving this property, uh, this problem, you know the property. These divergence of curl of any vector curl of divergence of curl of any vector must be zero here given for a here given curl of v is given curl of v is given r so if we find divergence of curl of v so what we get divergence of r so divergence of r is you know this is 3 if you don't know then go to the previous lecture you get the proof the divergence of r is 3 since this is not equals to 0 so divergent sorry curl of v is r is not possible okay but in case of b here curl of v is 2i cap plus j cap plus 3k cap so if we find divergence of curl of v which is nothing but divergence divergence means you know divergence means i cap del del x plus j cap del del y plus k cap del del z dot 2i cap j cap plus 3 k cap so i dot i is 1 so there is del 2 del x plus del 1 del y plus del 3 del z since these are the constants so you get 0 since this property hold so this v is possible this curl of v is possible okay here you need to find out the v vector such that this can be hold so this is uh, can be written as the divergence and the curl so you get a big equation and to solve but i did not didn't this solve this equation to get the answer uh, when i got the solve this pro problem i must uploaded this video okay and this is the question number 107 this problem also i cannot solve at this moment when i got the solution of this uh, problem i must upload it in the video okay if any one or one of you can solve this must comment uh, must comment in the box and uh, pick of the it must be comment okay go to the next question question 108 says give the diag phi equals to this given evaluate this so for that you must to find out at first phi dot r so what is phi phi is i cap i cap j cap j cap k cap k cap dot r means i cap x j cap y k cap z so if you dot uh, you get this dot i j x this dot j s so i need to find out total into phi that means phi dot i i want to find out phi dot i what will be phi dot i i plus i j plus j k plus k dot i dot i that's mean this is i dot uh, i i dot i plus j j dot i plus k k 
dot i you know i dot i is 1 so this will be i into 1 this will be i dot j is 0 0 into j is 0 k dot i is 0 0 into k is 0 so you will get phi dot i is i similarly phi dot j will if you you will get j and phi dot k you will get k so this will be so 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 phi dot r is nothing but this gives you i dot a i cap x and j cap y plus k cap z this is nothing but the r vector now need to find out the r dot phi dot r so this will gives you r dot r this is nothing but r square this is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square okay the first one is evaluate at this the next one r dot f and dot r so at first you need to find out r dot f no, sorry phi r dot phi means i cap x plus j cap y plus k cap z dot i i j j k k so if you put dot this i cap x dot i dot i so i need to find out first one this is um, that is i dot phi what is the value of i dot phi this is nothing but i dot i cap i cap plus j cap j cap plus k cap k cap so this will give you i dot i i plus j dot j sorry i dot j j plus i dot k k i dot i j is 1 so you are giving i cap but i dot i j is 0 0 into j is 0 i dot k is 0 0 into k is 0 so you will get i cap so this can be written as r dot phi can be written as i cap x i cap actually y j cap plus z k cap that is nothing but r vector after that you want to find out r dot phi dot r r dot phi r dot phi dot r this will give r so r dot r this is also given r square so this is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square so we get this two are same so this two are same is there any ambiguity is wrong this so if you want to find r dot phi dot r so there is a ambiguity whether whether this can be this can be written as r dot phi dot r or this can be written as r dot phi dot r but here these two are same here in this problem these two are same so here there here no ambiguity ambiguities so there is no ambiguity ambiguity okay thus thus this is the answer the what does this represent no ambiguity this is b and the r dot phi dot r is 1 you can you, you find this this is nothing but x square plus y square plus z square which is 1 and you know this is the equation of sphere this is the equation of sphere sphere with radius 1 uh, center at center at origin okay i think this is clear answer of this question is clear go to the next question suppose a vector suppose a vector equal to this b vector equal to this give the possibility at any point so we need to find out at first a cross grad so just calculate a cross grad i cap j cap k cap coefficient of a and this is a grad coefficient of a. just multiply cross product multiply and then then put the v so if we put the v then just operate on v and just do this operation uh, you must pause the video and do this operation you can see this will gives you answer like that okay 
and after that after that the question says uh, here actually the question b is not written i think there is a mistake of uploaded upload mistake you must to return the question b actually the question b was i want to find out it is is it possible is it possible to write to write the result as a cross b by use of dx okay this is cross this question actually b this is question b okay so for that you must to find out uh, grad b okay this is not grad b this is del b so this is del operator b operator just multiply and put at this point because after this there is no operation so you can put this value okay and uh, put this value in a and after that you cross product actually i want to put this value because this cross product will be very large uh, by putting this value there is no change because the operation the divergence or del operators is operated state so you can put the value so after putting this value you, if you do the cross product you will get the same result as this so there is no problem if we write this okay that's it uh, this is all about me and this is my contact details you can contact with me by whatsapp or telegram channel and this is my youtube channel details go to the youtube channel and you will get the all the video which i just uploaded and subscribe this channel if you know new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of the upcoming video and share this video to your friends as that he or she also benefited with this video thank you take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible